The absurdity of the Russian position is demonstrated by the fact that they are bombing towns in the Belgorod re region, bombing towns in their own area in the belief that there might be anti-Kremlin Russians there. Now, uh, the other day I was looking at um, some telegram videos and some telegram postings and it struck me, and indeed somebody has pointed out, that the people who are claiming to be Polish are first of all speaking Russian and secondly, although they might be in a Polish brigade, they're almost certainly Russians who have who fled to Poland and have come back to resist Putin. The chances of these actually being Polish mercenaries are quite small. Uh, I, I, I wasn't thinking very clearly. I mean, you know, I, I was, I was um, picking up this idea, these ideas from a channel which is run by the Wagner Brigade. Um, so I think I probably misrepresented something there. So it is Russians coming back, anti-Putin Russians coming back to fight on Russian soil to reclaim their homeland, and Putin doesn't care which civilians he hits. He doesn't care as long as he remains in power. This is, this is, a, this is a cling on to power by Putin and his Kremlin cronies. And it's shocking how far they will go. Um, somebody suggested that Putin uh, has, um, has bombed the, um, the dam today. And, and in doing so, he's hurting the people in the region that he has already, quote, conquered. And that's part of the same thing. He doesn't mind who he hurts as long as he gains control. Whereas I think it's a very different matter when it comes to Zelensky. Uh, Zelensky is mindful of the people that he is president of. He's mindful of his responsibility. And I think that's the, that's the measure of the man. And I think that's, uh, that's the difference between the two.